Nearly 35 years ago, Poland regained its freedom. For more than three decades, no one was persecuted in our country because of their political views. And no political prisoners were held, until now. For the first time since the dark days of totalitarian rule, we have political prisoners in Poland. They are the former Interior Minister Mariusz Kamiński and his deputy Maciej Wąsik. Both are democratically elected members of the Polish Parliament. Both fought against communists. Both fought for justice in a free Poland by creating an office to fight corruption. Both enjoy the respect of Polish society. They are members of the Polish Parliament. And unfortunately, both are victims of political revenge targeted by Donald Tusk's government. Yesterday, during their visit to the Polish President Andrzej Duda at the Presidential Palace, they were detained by the police and then taken into custody. This happened even though both received a presidential pardon, as the prerogative of the President allows under Polish constitutional law in 2015. The entire process, which culminated in the detention of two politicians, took place in flagrant violation of the rule of law. This is simply an act of political revenge by the current government and is an example of the blatant persecution of the opposition by those in power. And this is happening in a major European Union country in the 21st century. For me personally, it is a source of great shame that Poland, a country that is famous for the freedoms that it gained, engages in practices that are native to Eastern regimes. This is not only a contradiction of Polish values, but also of the standards that prevail in the countries of the civilized West, to which Poland, until recently, proudly counted itself. I appeal to the democratic community of the West not to look passively at what is happening in Poland today.